Solar PV TV once again from the fourth investment forum conference of Alliance for Rural Electrification. And uh, we speak uh, for the second time actually with uh, Luca Pfeiffer, who is a uh, sales director for uh, Plug the Sun. And actually, here we have the logo of Plug the Sun because Plug the Sun is one of the faithful uh, sponsors of the yeah. e this event. So, first uh, question, uh, Luca, why did you decide you know, to support uh, this event? Well, thanks, Thomas, uh, for being here. I'm, I'm pleased to uh, finally attend the, the ARA event, first association of companies focused on off-grid market. And, and since we are, we are now facing this market in the last two, three years, uh, also thanks to the intermediation of Res for Med, Res for Abrica and Roberto, our friend Roberto, we finally decided to, to support this event and to support the association to share the information because I think that when, when a market starts, like the off-grid market, you don't have competitors. You just have partners to share information, try to, to, to grow the business together. So it's not something that you steal from others, but just share and, and grow together. That's the, that's the point. Okay, so I like very much this idea because uh, NRA and also Plug the Sun, uh, you are the guys uh, who are always, you know, working together with other partners, yes? Yeah. And um, focusing now on the Plug the Sun. So Plug the Sun, as we were speaking before, is the company which is focused on the off-grid markets, yes? Not only with the small installations, no. but also with mini grids, Correct. with hybrids, etc. So I remember that uh, last year you were, like, you know, being awarded with uh, projects, I think, Peru, Argentina, and uh, Philippines. So uh, what is the status, actually, of these projects? Yes, yes. When we met last time in Ethiopia, uh, the news were very, very uh, fresh. And now we can officially say that uh, in Argentina we are uh, uh, under operations. Uh, and just a few days ago, we, we installed the, the first solar system in uh, these remote areas in Argentina, like three kilometers, square kilometers of area to cover. And, uh, you know, when you see a picture with your system up and running, uh, it gives, you know, enthusiasm for that market. So but I think it's even more uh, exciting for these families, yeah? Uh, I think so, I think so. And again, the second project, the Philippines, uh, is like a few months uh, uh, shift ahead. It is a pay-as-you-go system uh, built in, so we are fixing the technologies matter, the last technologies matters, and we are ready to, to, to deliver the product and to start the 5,000 installations also in the Philippines. So I guess, I hope the first one will be in Africa, Thomas, I promise you last time. Okay, so uh, you are installing now all these uh, home systems, but uh, also you are working on mini grids and uh, hybrid systems. So could you tell us more about, you see, your other, uh, let's say, uh, areas of, um, of yes. activities. We decided to attack the off-grid market uh, uh, at 360 degrees. So uh, from the small solar home system of 1 and 200 watts uh, up to the centralized uh, uh, off-grid standalone system and mini grid. Of course, to do that, we are developing strategies and, and partnerships uh, for the solar water pumping system, which is a huge market to come. We are partnering with uh, Caprari, which is a, a, a well-known uh, pump manufacturer, is an Italian uh, um, manufacturers of pumps, so well-known uh, all around the world. And we know from them that they keep receiving queries for solar pump. Uh, and, and we are providing to them what they miss. Another example could be what we call Rayville. You know, it's a, a kind of kiosk. Uh, we, we, call, we call it the solar powered unit that can create not only energy, but also job. You can, uh, let's say, uh, adapt uh, your unit and it can become a barber shop. So it's it like a self-standing self container. Yeah? Exactly. We designed the, the proper solar system with the proper power peak and the proper storage make the unit and the kiosk runs uh, the refrigerator if it's a bar, hair cutter if you are a barber and so on. So what are the next steps for the Plug the Sun? Of course to uh, complete and try to show to the market the performance and the, the, the fact that our solar systems are reliable and do not require uh, so much maintenance. So this is a very important uh, target. Especially for the emerging markets. Exactly, uh, when it's very quite, quite hard to, to reach. For the pace you go is make better our software and try to streamline all our process, the payment uh, uh, matters, and to finalize the two 
three suppliers of partners for the mini grid business. For the mini grid, you need a local presence uh, to do a, you know, an energy assessment of the community to see what are the real needs. So you can make, for example, an island with 2,000 people? Of course, that, okay, so that, that is a classic example. So maybe we will make it in the Philippines. <laughs> Yes, why not? Why not, Thomas? Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, uh, last question, actually. Uh, will you come for the next event of ARA? Yes. There okay. Right. Thank you so much. That was Solar PVTV with Luca Pfeiffer, who is a sales director for Plug the Sun, the off-grid company, which is part of uh, NRA. Yeah. And Macafari Group from Italy. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.